Congress for years but regarding the idea that this is about states' rights and stuff is absurd. Yeah, this is a, this is about this is about a nationally directed program to get what you want in the states that you can't get through the national legislature. Yeah, it, well, as we've been enough, talking, they've salted, the, they've salted enough federal society judges throughout the judiciary now that. In a lot of places, they're going to get what they want. Right. I mean, we've been talking about this as regards to marriage equality for years. And it says, oh, and Jeb Bush, did you see he farted out a little? <laughs> it should be up to the <laughs> states. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, uh, marriage equality just came to, to Florida. And it's just this whole argument, right? Ju- judicial activists overturning the will of the people, blah, blah, blah. Legislate what they can't win at the ballot box. And now I'm, right. and now I'm running for president and I'm the tide is running against me. So I'm going to try to back off from all of this, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is, you know, that's a, that, that's a remarkable, that's a remarkably, you know, a, a remar- another remarkably big win for the cause. Yeah. Uh, but it, I mean, I don't know that it will slow Jeb down at all, although it's making him dance a little funny. Here's my favorite part of the weasel speak. Uh, you point out that uh, one person quoted said, uh, he said the term activist has become a pejorative. He prefers to call for more judicial engagement. It's oh. judicial engagement now. It judicial euphemisms. I see. Yeah. God. Good Lord. Genius. What, what is it? Stephanie Miller. It is the Stephanie Miller Show. Welcome to it. 1-800-STEP-1-2, the phone number total free from anywhere. We're all y'alls in phone land today. What's happening? Yeah. All right. Uh, we have uh, Dino Badal coming up, Jackie Shetner, healthcare expert, uh, newswoman extraordinaire, and Jody Hamilton in the studio today. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, 1-800-STEP-1-2, the phone number. Um, we're talking about, obviously, this uh, latest horror in uh, uh, France that police are continuing the hunt. Uh, Charlie Hebdo, right? Charlie Hebdo. Okay, is the name of the uh, publication. They're uh, still hunting suspects. I believe th- there were three, correct? Yes. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. Uh, the president spoke about this uh, yesterday. For us to see the kind of cowardly evil attacks that took place today, I think, reinforces uh, once again why it's so important for us to stand in solidarity with them, just as they stand in solidarity with us. Yeah, France was our very first ally fighting with us in the uh, Revolutionary War. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about one of the more recent wars. No, yes. no. <laughs> yes. they, no, they were oh, America's the war. Yes. very first yes. ally, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the right wing tends to forget that. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. when they're calling them cheese-eating surrender monkeys. Exactly. Okay, the president again. We will stand with people in France. Uh, it was very, very difficult. This was an attack uh, on journalists, an attack on our free press. I also underscore the degree that uh, these terrorists appear free speech and freedom of the press uh yeah we were saying it's uh, you know it's interesting all the, the you know connections in the news in terms mm-hmm. of sony and the the uh uh the interview i mean it, it, the same thing it's it's yeah. um i remember the president making that point that is, we can't allow another country to shut down free speech in this country right. which is what uh and by the way the fbi director spoke out about that and uh, uh talking about evidence pointing to north korea because i know some experts are like not sure mm-hmm. Um, but you know, clearly they have the FBI has access to more stuff. Stuff. Let's just say <laughs> uh, the unprecedented hack uh, had North Korea's fingerprints all over it. He said James Comey. Um, he revealed for the first time the FBI saw IP addresses previously used by North Korea, um, and uh, they cited the similarity of malware used in prior uh, cyber attacks. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. I was. I well, probably shouldn't talk about. But I, you know, I'm just saying if you've ever dealt with that sort of thing. <laughs> Just saying, oh, just any kind of psychopath could be a psychopath from North Korea. But, uh, you know, uh, it's stuff that, what? Stop looking at me like that. But that's how you can you can find out because you can tie IP addresses if you say are getting phony emails from someone designed right. to look like they're from certain corporations or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you can find out that it's the same IP address and you're like, oh, it's the same psychopath. Yeah. Um, he said, there's not much in life I have high. <laughs> I try not to make eye contact with you during that. Nobody in particular. 
Not much in life I have uh, high confidence about, he said, uh, defending the conclusion that it was North Korea. Uh, he said, I have uh, very high confidence in that attribution. Um, so anyway, that's, you know, just yeah. the uh, cyber sleuthing stuff they have uh, access to. All right. Uh, let's do Matthew in Virginia. You're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hello, Matthew. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi. Um, t- yeah, today's a bad day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's just that uh, I-, I saw the pictures yesterday, and it's just it's just horrible. Yeah. And I hope I really hope you mean as uh, as opposed to last year's uh, nonstop news of uh, Ebola and uh, <sighs> disappearing planes. And yes, I know it's. Why? Right, well, yes. welcome 2015. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, I really hope we liberals uh, don't get. Immediately to, uh, well, let's equivocate. Let's, gee, you know, you do have to respect other people's point of view, and they are kind of crazy. This was pretty clear. This was an awful, terrible thing to do, and and we needed to just speak out immediately. Well, and a lot of prominent Muslims already have. You know, uh, I mean, that, that's the thing. I mean, anybody can misinterpret religion, and uh, uh, there is no religion that orders you to kill somebody over uh, over a cartoon. Let's, yeah. let's just say, yes. It, it, let's just say that, but maybe this goes back to that argument that the Bill Maher was having. That, yeah. You know, it's sometimes, yeah. yes, it sucks to think that you're going to uh, inter- interfere with a California election on Prop 8 from the Mormon Church. Bad. Killing somebody over a cartoon, ten times as bad. Yeah. Extremism in any religion is bad. Right. And so as liberals, we should be speaking about all of it. And what we should really do is be backing up the people who use humor. You know, maybe they were artless cartoons, but we have to back them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and exactly what nece- what seems like unnecessary provocation uh, you know, to one person is another tr- person's free speech. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, that, that, that's what free speech is. You know, we always say that it's not to protect speech everybody agrees with. Right. right. That's a fact. And and you guys well know that you, you sort of push the edge sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. We, we do. What now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought your podcast. I know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, it's, it's time to time to rethink that last happy hour podcast. Oh, okay. Boy. Yeah. Last <laughs> one of the year. Zoinks. Thank God for the paywall. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was interesting, uh, piece and think progress, what Muslims really believe about cartoons of Muhammad. And, you know, we'll talk to Dean Obadal about this because there's some sort of like, you know, a lot of confusion about that. Uh, they did, you know, ask the question, where does the Quran uh, forbid uh, dis- depiction of Muhammad? Well, technically it doesn't. There is no verse in the Quran that formally prohibits depicting Muhammad. Um, there are, however, uh, creating an image of the Prophet is arguably condemned in various iterations of the Hadith. Mm -hmm. i.e. collections of teachings, actions, and sayings of Muhammad that many Muslims use as an interpretive guide for Islamic life. Many modern Sunni Muslims who represent the largest branch of Islam are sympathetic to this belief. Shia Muslims, however, are far less troubled by um, religious images. So that's something I did. I had no idea. I had no idea there was a difference um, in terms of, you know, Shia and Sunni uh, on that particular Mm -hmm. thing. Um, Much of religion is uh, exercised in interpretation, but the decision to brutally murder journalists over a cartoon flies in the face of most historical interpretations of Islam. In fact, it's telling how many prominent Muslim leaders have been quick to condemn uh, today's attacks. Um, think progress, right? So, yeah. uh, anyway, yeah, John in Minneapolis, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hi, John. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say um, I think that free speech should be an app absolute right, like a human right, um, and you should be able to express yourself uh, just as you should be free uh, from, you know, having uh, genocide perpetrated against you or torture perpetrated against you. And um, unfortunately, free speech um, is, you know, the, the, the people that own the media apparently don't respect that, and so there's a lot of hypocrisy in free speech um you know that's why i listen to free speech tv thank you yeah yeah um yeah well i mean that's um you know that's the thing it's 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 it should be when you say oh we all should have well you know we as a country believe that and obviously some other countries Mm -hmm. don't um uh, carol in south it's easy for us to say that i think you're in a country that has but that's why i got the president's point about we shouldn't allow a north korean dictator to stop our freedom speech in america uh, carol in south carolina you're on the stephanie miller show hello carol yeah hey steph hey Uh, i um was wondering you know we donated during the uh you know the pledge drive yay thank you 
yes. during your show. Thank you. And um, have you heard any scuttlebutt about what happened with the uh, Koch brothers' uh, coal delivery? Oh, yeah. It was sent to uh, the Koch brothers. Um, I saw the picture. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Free Speech tweeted out a picture. Oh, awesome. I'll have to look for that. Yeah. We will, we will if we hear any scuttlebutt about, about the reaction, we'll let you know. How much coal? I mean, did they, did they have a it was it was a really big box of coal. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like like is it bigger than Charlie Brown got. Yes. Oh, coke suckers. Carl uh, Carl in Nashville. Sorry. Hey Carl. Welcome. Hey, hey Carl. guys. How's it going? Good. Go ahead. Well, well you know what? I, I'm I'm sorry. This this may sound callous, but somebody have to say it. I woke up yesterday morning uh, around six o'clock. And cut on television, and that's what I saw the news about the shooting in Paris. Mm -hmm. I went to sleep last night around 11.30, and I saw the news about Paris. Woke up again this morning, saw the news again about Paris. It was really, really ticking me off. God bless the people in Paris. Um, it's horrible. It's sad. But where the hell is all the sympathy for the dozens of people who died in Yemen yesterday from a blast? I saw that there's as well. No, yeah. Any, there's hardly any news report. I mean, it, it, it's almost like a member of our family died when it happened to Europeans. Yeah. But when it happened well, to. Well, Carl, look at Ebola. Look at how many people were dying. Black people were dying over there. And then it was like, oh my God, a white person, you know, got it from America, well, you know. Car Carl. There we go. Right. There, there we go. And it's like, it, it's like hashtag Black Lives Matter, too. Well, Carl. Uh, I, I see what you're saying, and I'm not making a, an excuse for this, but it's a lot easier for reporters to report from Paris than it is for reporters to report from Yemen. No, it's not. I see. I see Richard Engel um, uh, uh, everywhere. Right. No, no, he, he's that's, that's he's he's one of the what the, maybe ten emotion. foreign reporters that are, that uh, you know are over there that can go over there. But but the emo the raw emotion that you feel about these twelve people that died in Europe yesterday compared to the dozens that died in Yemen yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's just not there. It's, it's just not there. And, it, and and to me, as a black person in this country right here, it, it just, it just, you, it, it's right there. It's like, yeah. yeah. Die, we'll right. be talking about the Paris thing for about the next week or so. It'll be all day in people. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. so sad. Well, Hashtag Charlie this. But no one will speak of black people dying in Yemen yesterday. It's, the it's the, just the government in Yemen doesn't like foreign reporters being there. But we're people. I, I know that. I, I get that. And I'm not making an excuse for that, but I'm just telling you why why there might be less coverage of the events in Yemen than there was of the Charlie Hebdo uh, shootings yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Carl, good you point. Know, but, but you know what? That, you, you know what? I, I, look, I love you all so you know I do. I listen to you all. I know. Every you are Carl day. in Nashville. But, mm -hmm. but, but this, this, this right here is what, is what, what black people say when, sure. we, when, 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 when yeah. other people don't under, quite understand all the way what we're, what we're feeling and where we're coming from. This right here is what we mean. Yeah. This I haven't, I've not, I've yet to see a story about a missing black girl on Fox News. Mm hmm. So. Absolutely. And, 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 and Stephanie, you mentioned Ebola. Ebola has been with us for 40 years. Yeah. A few white Americans and a few Europeans get it. Now we need a vaccine. Oh, now we need a vaccine? Yeah, now a warning. Now All right, we need Carl. A, a vaccine. I got it, honey. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Now a warning? You know, as uh, the person in charge of our uh, uh, Yemen coverage, you're fired, Chris. Because you're in charge <laughs> of Because I didn't send a reporter over to Yemen? Yes. Okay. Okay, 40s. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you see my point? Yeah. I mean, if a news organization with the vast budget and resources of the Stephanie Miller show cannot. Okay. 46 right. minutes after the hour, we shall uh, roll along. Dino Badala coming up top of the hour on the Stephanie Miller show. Making more people spit coffee on themselves than any other radio in America. It's the Stephanie Miller show.